to the live count here from Arena MK. We are covering the counts for both Milton Keynes North and Milton Keynes South constituencies. Hi, I'm Matt Harris and you're watching Buckingham News, live from the MK Arena. Coming out of Europe was not something that we wanted and I think the impact of coming out of Europe could be devastating one way or the other. It will have a significant impact. And the Tories who basically came out of Europe because they couldn't control the right wing of their party could take us completely out of Europe and out of the single market. I think that will cause us a lot of problems. We need to have a proper debate, look at all the different alternatives and then make the right decision. Personally, I believe that there is room for a second referendum. What I really want to see is more people out there voting. I, the, I can't remember what the voter turnout was exactly like in Milton Keynes, but you need like 90% of people to vote on issues like this. And it comes down to what I was saying earlier about people just sort of give up on... There's so many lies being spammed from both sides. Nobody knows where to vote. For me personally, I do follow the party line saying there should be a second referendum. But whoever wins the election tonight and makes that final call on it. Fundamentally, I believe that the way to help people get on in life is to help them and support them. Um, because I believe that we should have a safety net and should have decent public services. And, you know, we should have a government and a system where those that earn a lot of money and have had a lot of advantages support the rest of us that haven't. Okay, this is the declaration of the result of poll for the election of a member of parliament for Milton Keynes South. The election held on Thursday the 8th of June 2017. Stuart Ian Aitken, the Conservative Party candidate, 30,652. Yeah. And I do hereby declare that Ian Aitken Stewart is duly elected. Mr Mayor, may I thank through you all the counting staff uh, here tonight uh, and all the agents in the polling stations uh, along the length and breadth of the constituency today. It's been a long day. Uh, I've already been awake for over 24 hours. Uh, and I'm delighted to have been re-elected uh, for the third time as a Member of Parliament for Milton Keynes South with the biggest vote I've ever recorded and the largest share of the vote I've ever recorded. I look forward to being of service uh, to all residents of Milton Keynes South in the new Parliament. Thank you very much. This is the declaration of the result of the poll for the election of a Member of Parliament for Milton Keynes North on Thursday, 8th of June 2017. Lancaster John Mark, the Conservative Party candidate, 30,307. And I do hereby declare that John Mark Lancaster is duly elected. Well, thank you very much. It's late and I will be very brief. I am deeply honoured to be re-elected now for my fourth time. Um, yes, it's a reduced majority, albeit bigger than the first one I had. Uh, and I think that really is a reflection on uh, this evening's events, where it's been a very unpredictable election. And I would simply like to congratulate my uh, fellow candidates. I, it was a thoroughly enjoyable election, especially the results. Um, but also, it was done uh, in a very sort of um, a very fair way. For once, we didn't have that sort of those sort of the, the, the personal attacks which occasionally do come. So I thank them for that, and that's been 
really useful when it comes to now moving forward as, as Milton Keynes. We have to unify because I think the challenges we face both as a city and indeed as a country now we move forward to Brexit, we have to come together. That's something we're very good at doing here in Milton Keynes because of the nature of our politics and I look forward to working with everybody uh, over the next coming years to ensure that we get the best possible deal we can for both the UK and indeed MK. Thank you. We did win. We did win. Alright. And the polls were just all over the place. We had poll leads of 1%, we had poll leads of 14%. In the end, it looks like we've won by three or four percent. That's roughly what it should be uh, for my majority here in Milton Keynes. But it's not just about the majority. It's about trying to make sure that we get that stability as we move into Brexit so that we can secure Milton Keynes' future. That's going to be my priority over the next few years. Well, Theresa May is Prime Minister. I think she was absolutely right uh, to call this uh, election for the right reasons. We haven't done as well as perhaps we would have hoped. But moving forward, I'm convinced that Theresa May can continue to govern as Prime Minister. Uh, well, I'm very tired. It's been a, a long and emotional day. Uh, but I'm very relieved and pleased uh, to have been re-elected for the third time as the Member of Parliament for Milton Keynes South. Well, I think the, the Labour Party have clearly been able to absorb uh, in their uh, campaign some of the, the anti-Tory votes. Uh, they've been successful in doing that. Uh, the turnout's uh, obviously up, so they've probably been able to get people who had not previously voted 